Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And the theme of the day is entrepreneurship. Uh, so as I promised at the beginning of the year, we have captured so many industries in this country. And I promised that this year, 2020, we are going to uh, try to get to know uh, diff the different industries that we haven't covered so far. So today, I bring you security. And in studio with me is Mr. Julius, who is the CEO of SGA, and is here to demystify some of the things that we know about Karibu Sana. Good, uh, good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> All morning right, you. Uh, your camera is number four. Okay. I always like to give people an opportunity to introduce themselves, yeah. uh, just in case I miss anything <laughs> in their credentials. Yeah, so uh -huh. my name is Julius Delahaye. I am uh, the CEO and chairman of uh, SGA Security. We are operating in, um, in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania mm -hmm. uh, with more than 20,000 uh, employees. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically we, we cover the full scope of security services from mm -hmm. uh, man guarding, uh, dog handling, response uh, and alarms, but also mm -hmm. cash in transit, mm -hmm. uh, event security, tracking, tracing, mm -hmm. logistics mm -hmm. uh, and um, basically and, and security scans basically the full range of uh, security. Anything we can think of <laughs> <laughs> when it exactly. comes to security. Including installation of uh -huh. equipment and, uh -huh. and, 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 and sale as well. And sale as well, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, so how, how old is SGA? SGA actually this year, uh, we are celebrating mm. our 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. It started uh, 50 years ago, actually here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, SGA was founded by uh, a Dutchman Mm -hmm. Dutchman who, who lived actually all his life uh, in East Africa. Mm -hmm. He passed away unfortunately about three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, just a year after I took over the helm. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, so we are celebrating the 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to have so we are not a newcomer. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're going to be having a party. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Throughout the year, we mm -hmm. will have all kinds of festive activities mm -hmm. in each of the countries. but. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course mainly in, in, in Kenya, uh -huh. because that's where it all started, all right. as a small company. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, if you look at the history of security mm -hmm. over time, uh -huh. it has changed dramatically. All know. right, small is relative, I bet, because <laughs> uh, the list of the things you do uh, yeah. is picturesque. Uh, anyway, uh, I'd like to know, uh, what does it, what does it take to be CEO? Everybody wants to be CEO. <laughs> everybody sees the CEOs oh. on TV yeah. uh, and everybody wants to be CEO. I'd like to know, uh, how, what did it take you to get to where you are today? What is yeah. your background? Yeah, well, my background, I, I, uh, I started at school, like mm -hmm. uh, most, most of the people, mm -hmm. uh, went uh, at the end to university, mm -hmm. uh, studied actually business economics mm -hmm. and taxation law. Wow. So people would say, oh, what boring. Mm. But, <laughs> but you can see even with, 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 with that, you can still become a CEO. Mm -hmm. no, so over time, uh, through hard work, actually, I was very eager uh, to learn a lot about corporate life. Mm -hmm. um, so I started uh, originally at Philips International, the, the electronics uh, right, giant. Right. Uh -huh. uh, then I went to AT&T, which mm -hmm. is uh, an even bigger giant. Mm. Telecommunication. Tel telecommunications. Uh -huh. That's how I ended up in the ICT environment. Mm -hmm. Then later on, I was uh, the fifth employee of a company called Unisource, which was a joint venture mm -hmm. between major telcos of the Netherlands, mm -hmm. Sweden, Spain, and, um, uh, and Switzerland. Mm -hmm. uh, and there, as a fifth employee, uh, that company started from scratch, mm -hmm. from zero, and in five years' time, that company was grown from from zero to. Were you part of this group? Yeah, I was mm -hmm. part of that, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I became CEO of that company mm -hmm. after after six years, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and that company, as I said, started from scratch, from zero, mm -hmm. to a two billion dollars uh, revenue company, mm -hmm. operating in. Uh, in more than 50 uh, countries. So, so if this was a league, <laughs> how many titles would you be <laughs> having on your name? Yeah, I started, I, I started as, a, as, as a manager uh -huh. at, uh, at, at the tax department uh, in those days. Then I became uh, a senior manager, uh -huh. uh, then an assistant director. Uh -huh. And then uh, when I moved uh, to the other companies, uh, I became a, a, a director. Gradually, I followed the way through finance, mm -hmm. and then when I became in uh, uh, in the ICT arena, mm -hmm. I I went into general management, mm -hmm. uh, so got more and more 
engage with technology mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and and basically uh, before I entered let's say the physical security industry I was in in ICT uh, security uh, running uh, uh, data centers top class data centers mm -hmm. in central and eastern Europe mm -hmm. um, and a top class data center for me is top class security because a data center is not only about physical security mm -hmm but also technical security, mm -hmm. IT security, mm -hmm. connectivity, uh -huh. and, and even cyber security. Mm -hmm. And I think that is, if you look at security uh, throughout the history, mm -hmm. it has changed really from physical security, mm -hmm. you know, uh, basically, uh, you know, the manpower. Having a guard at your gate. Yeah. Exactly, uh -huh. a ga gate at, uh, you know, guard at the gate, mm -hmm. muscles. Uh, oh, muscle. <laughs> yeah. That is the way, yeah. that, that is the way pe a lot of people look at it. Uh -huh. But I think security nowadays is more about intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, is, is using the brains, being preventive, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, proactive instead of reactive. Reactive. And we need technology for that. Mm -hmm. So prevention so. is always better than cure when it comes to absolutely. security. Absolutely. And, and, and you can do a lot to prevent, you mm -hmm. know. If you take your, your proper measures at mm -hmm. home, you use, you apply technology, mm -hmm. then it's much easier uh, to, to prevent or to identify uh -huh. if something is going wrong. Right, before uh. we get back to security, <laughs> uh, uh, it's claimed that uh, the corporate world is full of power hungry people yeah. <laughs> and it's very hard to get to the top. Did you have to, uh, to rub shoulders mm -hmm. and did you have some very bad experiences on your way to the top? No, actually, uh, overall, I guess not. I, um, I was very determined. I, I knew, uh, you know, I, w I wanted to be a leader in, in the corporate environment. Mm -hmm. But actually, um, I think the main principle is that you have to like your job. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you do, you know, be engaged. Uh, because if it's fun, if your job is fun, mm -hmm. usually, you, you, you know, time is, is, is running without you noticing it. Uh -huh. And um, if you feel like, oh, I have to make money, or I have to do this, uh -huh. or I have to be there, then in general, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to, to have fun, mm -hmm. to, you know, to like your job, because if you like it, uh -huh. usually you're good at it. Uh -huh. you know, usually you're going to perform. You're going to perform, because, uh -huh. and, and then if you perform good, uh -huh. you like it even more. Uh -huh. And then you get into you get a positive vibe, uh -huh. exactly. You All get right. recognized, you know, if you only do the job for the money, you know, then usually it becomes too stressed. Uh -huh. And uh, but if you do it because you're good at it and you have fun, as you said, mm -hmm. one day it will be recognized. Uh -huh. And if you feel it's not recognized, uh -huh. raise the flag. <laughs> raise the flag. <laughs> Don't be too modest. <laughs> All right. Uh, so so um, uh, we have a saying: uh, children that ask for something, uh -huh. you know, uh, they, they 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 will be. Uh, uh, left left mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. but children that don't ask will mm -hmm. never get anything. All right, so ask and you shall be given. Yeah, exactly. So uh, when you talk about raising the flag, you should always know your worth. You should always know uh, how far you've come and uh, know yeah. what you bring to the table. That's exactly. what you're trying to say. And, but be realistic about it. Uh -huh. Look into the mirror. Uh -huh. A lot of <laughs> young, young people, mm -hmm. and, and I work a lot with young people. I like to work with young people mm -hmm. and, and like to men uh, uh, mentor them. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I think it's finding the right balance, mm -hmm. you know, being eager, being ambitious, which is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, where am I today? Mm -hmm. what, do, what, 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 what can I learn still? Mm -hmm. You know, because we're learning every day. Even I, I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. If I would not learn, I would not be suitable for my job. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so that curve is, is a constant process. And I think it's very important to understand what, what are the learning gaps, what is it still, where are you good at? Mm -hmm. it's, that's good to know and, and accelerate on that. But even more important, what are the things I'm not so good at mm -hmm. or what I don't like, you know? Because that's where you can develop and actually you should develop. And if you're open-minded for that, if you're really open-minded to learn, to be eager, to not only to look at the, 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 your, your, your best topics, but also mm -hmm. your weak spots, mm -hmm. then I think 
you know, you make huge steps. So the drive is very important. <laughs> Why so is from a distant man right there? Remember, we were on social media and we are celebrating the life of the former President Moi. So on mm -hmm. Facebook, we asked, uh, what is it that you remember about President Moi? So talk to us mm -hmm. so we can sample your feedback towards the end mm -hmm. of the show. But right about now, it's mm -hmm. all about security, security, security. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, <clears throat> being somebody who has traveled, being somebody who has worked in different uh, aspects of security and in different countries, do you, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that the needs of East Africa are different from the rest of the places you were when it comes to security? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Actually, uh, as we all know, the world is becoming smaller and smaller mm -hmm. when it comes to traveling. You know, you can travel, you know, in 24 hours to the other part of the world. Uh, we have the internet, we have, you know, the communication. Uh, and basically, uh, the major threat when it comes to security, uh, if, if we look at terrorism, is not something about East Africa, it's, it's a worldwide uh, threat that we are facing. Mm -hmm. uh, and when it comes to, I would say, maybe basic security, mm -hmm. the day-to-day -day thefts, mm -hmm. the, the robberies, mm -hmm. uh, that is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and in some uh, countries and areas, it might be more violent, it mm -hmm. might be more, uh, but at the end, I think we are dealing with human, be human, human beings. beings. And, and we human are beings, <laughs> are I all think the same. All, all, all the same, they <laughs> behave the same. Uh, we, we tend to say, well, this is a cultural thing and that is a cultural thing, mm -hmm. which of course, cultures are different, mm -hmm. therefore countries are different, mm -hmm. but human beings in general behave the same. Human throughout. beings in general <laughs> behave the same, whether from East Africa, South Africa, exactly. or Europe. Exactly. All right, so uh, yeah. Talking about uh, the evolution of the security, as you mm -hmm. were talking about, it has mm -hmm. moved from muscle. I'm pretty sure 50 years <laughs> back when you were starting, uh, mm -hmm. it was more of muscle mm -hmm. and uh, the, yeah. the, the, the weapons that we know about. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, it's, it's more of uh, technology. It has transitioned. Mm -hmm. It has evolved. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when the youth out there here is security, they imagine being security guards. Yeah. But I'd like you to demystify that and just tell them the opportunities mm. that lie in, yeah. the, in that space right now, exactly. which is not necessarily being a guard at the gate somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it has evolved over time, as you mm -hmm. rightfully said in the beginning, physical security was the most important part, mm -hmm. you know, putting uh, a guard in front of the gate or mm -hmm. in front of the house. And actually uh, guarding was, uh, particularly for s specific spots, you know. Mm. Uh, this company started originally uh, as, a, as a construction uh, company. Eh? The mm -hmm. founder, he was a constructor and he felt like in those days, where was theft usually, mm -hmm. you know, was at construction sites, okay. at, at, <laughs> at, at logistics, you know. Uh -huh. Because if you transport, mm -hmm. transport valuable goods, mm -hmm. that is interesting for thieves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. People in general at homes, it was not such a big, big mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. That, that evolved over time, uh, and nowadays mm -hmm. we are looking at, at all kinds of devices, you mm -hmm. know, uh, look at your phone. I have mine as well. Exactly, mm -hmm. you know, we have all kinds of apps, we have connectivity to the internet. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, security without connectivity is actually... Uh, almost impossible. Almost impossible, mm -hmm. because if you can't communicate, mm -hmm. you know, in a proper way, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So in the past, we used only radio technology. That mm -hmm. was the way to communicate. Mm -hmm. You had big machines, people, you mm -hmm. know. I've seen and, them. I've seen uh, them. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, even, even, you know, you had to, you, you you had to <laughs> take a while <laughs> to dial. Exactly. Uh -huh. and, and people nowadays, if you ask a kid, uh -huh. uh, what, what does this mean? They say, no clue, what no are you clue. talking about? They only about? know this. <laughs> 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 All right. yeah? So, so um, and, and think about security and technology. You know, look at, for instance, we all know uh, at the airport, you mm -hmm. have to put your fingerprints mm -hmm. on, access controls, mm -hmm. face recognition. Mm -hmm. You know, you could not dream of it, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, 10 years, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. Uh, face Only in a James Bond movie. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you could, you, you would think, oh my God, this is uh, impossible. This is impossible. Mm -hmm. Look at indeed those James Bond movies. Uh -huh. Look them back. I like them a lot. Uh -huh. But if you look it back, technology is today more advanced mm -hmm. than you could dream of 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, uh, face recognition, software applications. Mm -hmm. If you use digital cameras, mm -hmm. you know you can program. Mm -hmm. I can program the camera in such a way to, to identify objects, mm -hmm. faces, uh, colors, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that means that I can use it proactively. Mm -hmm. So if I 
if, if the object would show a gun on you, mm -hmm. then the system would g give an alarm mm -hmm. or an alert at mm -hmm. the control room mm -hmm. and say, Listen. Instead of having somebody to search me exactly. and invade my privacy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, and, and sometimes you still need to do both of them because uh -huh. uh, people, uh, the point is if people are not aware uh -huh. of the technology uh -huh. and the applications there, you know, then it doesn't work pre preventive as well. Because uh -huh. if I know there is a guard uh -huh. who has the right tools and uh -huh. the proper equipment, uh -huh. then I'm more careful, uh -huh. you know, to deal with that. Uh -huh. But at home, for instance, there is another way uh, not everybody can afford to put a physical guard at mm -hmm. your home, but usually we can afford, you know, uh, a, a, a relatively small mm -hmm. security alarm system mm -hmm. with response. And if the response time is in a few minutes, mm -hmm. you know, if something happens, keep keep the, the thieves and thugs outside. Uh -huh. Have proper locks on your door, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 not just. Uh, uh, and the SGA army <laughs> is going to be there in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so so uh, out of all these things you're yeah. mentioning, I can tell there's space for software engineers, yeah. there's space for coders there, uh, there's space for uh, guys who deal with hardware uh, yeah. when it comes to technology. So there's yeah. space, uh, there's a lot of technological space in yeah. this industry right now. Exactly. And exactly. opportunities that people can exploit. Yeah. All right. Uh, so... Uh, I'd like to know, uh, what is uh, one thing that you'd like to achieve uh, with SGA or incorporate in this uh, security mm. system that you are working with uh, that, is, that is futuristic? Yeah, I think, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the security industry needs to change from mm -hmm. being reactive to proactive. Mm -hmm. And it means, you know, we have to work with clear protocols and apply technology mm -hmm. uh, and technology much more, in, in, as I, I mentioned, some of the devices. But um, uh, I think what is going to happen is uh, control rooms mm -hmm. are actually, I think, the, the brain mm -hmm. of the security, mm -hmm. connectivity. Mm -hmm. uh, so communication is very important. Mm -hmm. And through internet, and uh, you know, we have all means to com communicate mm -hmm. and apply technology. Mm -hmm. uh, at your home, you know, uh, feel safe. Uh, in, in, in a way, mm -hmm. and, um, and security is not o only static, meaning, mm -hmm. you know, uh, guarding a building mm -hmm. or the people inside, mm -hmm. we, we tend to forget, but it's also dynamic, you mm -hmm. know, on the move. I think that's where the, the security is, is going to, is that wherever you are, you should be able to feel safe mm -hmm. with your family, with your kids, if you have somebody babysitting your kids, mm -hmm. then uh, wouldn't it be nice to keep an eye <laughs> on what's going on <laughs> while right. you're, you're gone? Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays I have an app, I can use, I can see all the cameras at my home mm -hmm. or at my office mm -hmm. and I can look what's going on. Mm -hmm. Are the people there? Mm -hmm. Are they doing what they're supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Or are they doing something else? Mm -hmm. And, and I think that, so that is a, a key thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing what, what will change dramatically is cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. You know, we, are, we used to, to look at security in terms of, as I said, physical objects, money. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we, exactly. we tend that is the most protected. We, we, yeah, mm -hmm. we do cash in transit, so money is important. But we forget sometimes that the people are more important. The that people transported. Exactly. Thank you very so, much for saying that. So, so, mm -hmm. so that, is, that is something to, to be uh, alert on. But there is a, another tendency mm -hmm. is that we, we, we for, had forgotten is data. Mm -hmm. We producing all the technology produces much, much more data than, mm -hmm. than ever before. Mm -hmm. So, and data need to be protective, mm -hmm. be protected. There's a be lot of sensitive information on that. Exactly. Uh -huh. Think about banks, you uh -huh. know, transactions, mm -hmm. hacking. It's, it's happening much more than we are aware mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. uh, so that requires very specific knowledge and technology mm -hmm. to look at. But also privately, you know, people go on social media. You know, your kids are, you know, using the internet. Mm -hmm. Do you really know? What they're checking what, on the internet. Exactly, right. what they're checking, what they're doing. So I think that is something that we need to, to pay much more attention to mm -hmm. uh, because uh, data protection uh, and privacy mm -hmm. becomes more and more important. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if, if they hack your system, if they know your password, mm -hmm. password, uh, they can have anything. access to anything. Mm -hmm. And that's where 
uh, the the world is going to the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. meaning you know any device mm -hmm. actually uh, that that is available, mm -hmm. you can remotely mm -hmm. activate or deactivate. So thugs are moving <laughs> from the streets to to their laptops. You mean. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, and. Uh, don't underestimate that is very well organized. Mm -hmm. you, you cannot imagine there is big organizations uh, running from even another place of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you would think, oh, they're here. Uh -huh. no, they, they're not here. Uh -huh. uh, uh, they might be here, <laughs> but then, you know, doing the crimes somewhere else in the world. Oh, right. So because of the internet connectivity, mm -hmm. you don't have to be physically present at mm -hmm. the place where you commit the crime. All right. So. So cyber security is the future of security, is, yeah. is, is an emerging trend in security. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and it's in combination with the other elements, mm -hmm. but also here being, you know, proactive, prevent, understanding what's going on. And it mm -hmm. and it's basically means we still, as a human being, mm -hmm. we need to be alert of what's mm -hmm. going around in our environment mm -hmm. and uh, be aware of what's going on. If you look at your own base environment mm -hmm. at home, you know, you know your place. Mm -hmm. if, you know, if you look critically around, you know, hey, that's that's uncommon, that's unusual. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It, it was never like this. Why is the car standing there? Why why are people looking at me mm -hmm. this way? You know, if you take that that uh, that alertness and basically mm -hmm. use our instinct, mm -hmm. we have forgotten. Right. I think too much. <laughs> To, to oh, listen to our instincts. We instinct. all know phones too much to, <laughs> to trust exactly. our instincts. Exactly, we, right. we trust the data on the uh -huh. phones or what we trust the news. Google than our Ex instincts. Uh, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, people are saying, oh, but Big Brother is watching me, so <laughs> I'm safe. Well, I, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> all right. Trust your own gut feel uh -huh. and, and, and be and stay alert. Because mm -hmm. if you do, you know, it's small things, but, uh, but the human... Uh, nature mm -hmm. is is much stronger than we think. You All know? right. Uh, so. uh, when this this one is opinion based. Uh, uh, so uh, while you were growing up and right now, do you think uh, the world is less safer? Yeah, I would say it's 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 different. To mm -hmm. be honest, uh, it's difficult. Of course. You know, people look at me as a museum and mm -hmm. they would say, mm -hmm. ah, but yeah, you always say, you know, uh, it back was better. In our day, back, back in our day, days, it's it cliche. Was better, it's cliche. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I think every time and every age has <laughs> its challenges mm -hmm. and you have to deal with that. Uh, I think, yeah, in some areas, uh, indeed, it, it was safer, you could. You could play on the street. Mm -hmm. Why there were no cars? Mm -hmm. Hardly any, any cars. So you, you would nowadays, most people get killed in traffic. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is w was it safer? Yeah, from mm -hmm. that perspective, mm -hmm. yes. But you know, there is so many elements uh, to it. Uh, I. I think it's 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 difficult to judge. I'm I wouldn't convinced say so. <laughs> that every, <laughs> as you said, every generation of every age has its own challenges. Yeah. All absolutely. right. Uh, as I said earlier, everybody wants to be CEO, uh, but they don't know what comes with it. So uh, before you tell me one thing that you don't like so much about being CEO, tell me one thing that you love so much about being CEO. Uh, well, what I love is uh, en engaging with people mm -hmm. uh, in all levels all ranks mm -hmm. uh, I you know I like to engage with people and work with people very mm -hmm. closely uh, what I like most is actually uh, uh, working with young people mm -hmm. uh, young people that are eager that mm -hmm. are bright have a, have still the future mm -hmm. you know should, you see should yourself in bright young people yeah. exactly mm -hmm. I you know I look at succession mm -hmm. one of the challenges is to look at succession mm -hmm. identify talent work with them mm -hmm. coach them mentor them you know, bring them from this level, mm -hmm. you know, to the to the same level, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 that is very re rewarding. Mm -hmm. You know, if I see the eagerness uh, and and the talent that is running around in East Africa, mm -hmm. it's magnificent. Mm -hmm. You know, so so for me that is that is uh, a great blessing mm -hmm. that that I'm allowed to 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 work with that. So um, yeah, so so that is one of the things I I like most. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, then you're going to ask, 
what do, what, what is, don't you like? like? Yes, yes, that is a po- <laughs> that is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> what did you like about? Yeah, CEO? well, of course, being CEO of a security firm, mm-hmm. meaning uh, we are, we are, as I mentioned, SEA is working and employing with twenty thousand mm-hmm. employees, mm-hmm. and employees are human beings. Mm-hmm. Human beings do make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Including therefore, myself. Uh, uh, including myself, uh-huh. you know, uh, I'm not, you know, less innocent than uh-huh. others. Mm-hmm. So we do make mistakes. And the issue, of course, particular insecurity is to, to identify those mistakes, mm-hmm. you know, recognize it and mm-hmm. learn from it, mm-hmm. you know, to improve and make sure you don't make the same mistake mm-hmm. all over again and all again. Right. And of course, in an environment like us, we have incidents from time to time mm-hmm. if security uh, you know, industry. Things can go south or left very Ab- fast. Absolutely, and, and sometimes we have casualties. Mm-hmm. And, and that is very difficult to it's deal with. It's very hard to watch, it's very hard to see. Exactly, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and sometimes it is very, you know, uh, unfortunate uh, events, mm-hmm. but you have to deal with it, and I'm responsible for it. Mm-hmm. Whoever makes that mistake. mistake. You know, the media is going to look for the CEO. Exactly. <laughs> you know, whether it's the guard at the gate uh-huh. who messed up, uh-huh. or uh, an alarm messed up, or uh, w- whatever incident uh-huh. is happening, they look at the CEO, uh-huh. which they should. You know, uh-huh. that as is my job. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm not running away from it. Uh-huh. Uh, but it's as I said, something you have to deal with. Exactly, and uh-huh. particular when it affects people, uh-huh. uh, one way or the other. Uh, then uh, you have very sad events, and then that is, of course, not the pleasant part of the job. All but right. somebody has to do it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much <laughs> for th- sharing that with us. I hope that doesn't scare you uh, <laughs> if you wanted to be CEO. Uh, but this is where we head to Facebook, and uh, there's somebody on our Facebook asking, uh, is there space for innovators? Absolutely. At your place? I think innovation that is actually key uh, Mm -hmm. for actually uh, most of the industries. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Innovation is very key. As I mentioned, uh, there is a really transformation going on in Mm -hmm. security. Uh, You know, there's efforts from government to regulate the industry, which Mm -hmm. which I think is very important, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, to have clear regulations that everybody knows, you know, we put certain standards in, but you need Mm -hmm technology and innovation mm-hmm. to get there. And people think innovation, uh, you know, it's applying things that we know already in different industries, apply it to another industry mm-hmm. or in a different way. And innovation, it, it, in my view, is very key. That mm-hmm. is what, what, what needs to be done. Mm-hmm. So innovators, and that's where, in general, mm-hmm. uh, I see at least, you know, it's the young people mm-hmm. that, that are working with the innovation. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a lot of the older generation, uh, and I have to be careful now, uh, <laughs> they, they, they tend to be happy with the things they, 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 they were in the past, mm-hmm. and I think uh, innovation is, is, is really uh, key. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and coming back to the statement, elder people, mm-hmm. uh, you know, old is not being age. You know, mm-hmm. age uh, doesn't say, you know, how old you are. Mm-hmm. It's your mentality uh-huh. that tells you how old you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, age is just, uh, at, I, I see it as, as experience. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the more years have passed, mm-hmm. you should have gained more experience, more experience. experience in whatever you do. Uh, but being old is, is a state of mind. Exactly. It has exactly. nothing to do with your age. With age, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, we have to pass the, the condolences to the, to the people of Kenya mm-hmm. uh, today. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, you know, if you become so old, you know, those are very wise men, mm-hmm. very uh, engaged, mm-hmm. and, um, and, 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 and indeed, you know, uh, it's the mindset. You all know, right. Very important. Thank you very much for sharing all that with us, and thank you very much for coming. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, do you know your social media platform? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh-huh. personally, uh-huh. I am not good at social, social media. media. Mm. I, I follow it, so uh-huh. uh, because but do you I have, have a to. website? I'm pretty but, sure you have a website. I, I, um, I have, of course, what, WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Uh, I use that a lot mm-hmm. because basically uh, at SEA we use it for for our security mm-hmm. um, mes- messages. Mm-hmm. So we have, we are informing our clients mm-hmm. uh, anywhere something happens in the region, mm-hmm. I get immediately mm-hmm. you know, the messages. So mm-hmm. I follow that very clearly, mm-hmm. but that's business-wise. 
uh, I'm not really in personally in the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a LinkedIn pr profile that I use. <laughs> uh, it had to be LinkedIn. <laughs> th 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 exactly. Uh -huh. uh, but but again, I apply it m usually, you know, in favor of the business. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because I, d I don't have so much time. <laughs> to All right, just share with us, share with us the company website, so that yeah. if anybody would like to interact with you yeah. guys or work with you, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure the Facebook uh, and the Twitter buttons are somewhere in oh, the yeah, website. Oh yeah, no, now. they are, they mm. are, they are. We, we, SEA is absolutely on 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 the on the social media. Mm -hmm. It's W mm -hmm. W. Just look them straight oh, into sorry. the eyes right there. It's uh, www.sgasecurity. Dot com, mm -hmm. and that's where you find you know everything. I think if you go to SEA Security mm -hmm. on Google, you will find us you right. know, in many uh, places and occasions. Mm -hmm. And as I said, we are throughout the region: Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, mm -hmm. with more than 35 branches wow. you know, uh, all over the place across so, East Africa. Yeah, exactly. thank you very much for coming thank through to White in the morning. Thank you. Keep thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank so you. the innovators can hit you up at the website Absolutely. through the website as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Uh, so we thank have come you. to the end of our first interview of the day and we had Mr. Julius, the CEO of SGA Security and uh, he had a lot to share with us. If you have any questions, you can head straight to their website at www.sga. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> All right. And uh, we are celebrating... Security.com, sorry. All right. Yeah. Security.com. Yeah. We are celebrating the life of the former president, uh, Moi. And uh, we asked you a question. What is it that you remember about him? So head straight to our Facebook and Twitter and answer that. Mm. And we'll be very willing to share that with the rest of the viewers towards the end of the show. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moon. Every social media platform, don't go nowhere. Val is coming up next. Mm.